So the big question is, what is incontinence? So incontinence is one of those words that, shockingly, some people just don't know what it means, but it's leakage. And that could be in the form of urine. That could be in the, in the form of stool. Um, of course, I'm a urologist, so I focus on urinary leakage. Okay. And that could be with activity. That could be when you don't expect it. That could be in your sleep. There's many different types of leakage. Okay. Um, as we're talking about leakage and things like that, going... How often should a patient or a client or myself be going per day? I don't know. I don't know the norm. What is the norm? So it's interesting. I think that when we're younger, we get in the habit of holding it. That starts at a very young age. And then um, speaking of women specifically, they whether they be someone in in the workforce or someone at home, they have so many other factors competing for their time that they put it off. And so it doesn't become such so apparent that it's a problem until they're much older and things are weaker. But ideally, it should be about every few hours while you're awake. Okay. Every three hours plus while you're awake. Okay. Um, as a doctor, I think you would probably share with me in this and being as busy as you probably are. When I worked in the hospital as a nurse, there were times where I was like, did I go to the bathroom yes, today? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. And I see that with pilots. I see that with lawyers. I see that with moms. Uh-huh. I see that with people on TV. <laughs> that, right? I see it with everybody. You have other things competing for mm-hmm. your time. Mm-hmm. And so it, the going to the bathroom gets pushed off. Right. Or you have someone knocking on the door and you're peeing, so you rush. Oh, that's geez. another big one. So you make it to the bathroom. <laughs> you go. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes people don't make it to the bathroom, and right. that's where they often come to see me. Okay. So that's the time to come see you, when you can't make it to the bathroom, or you're noticing at night, you know, oh, it looks like I leaked a little bit, something like that. I think part of the problem is people feel like they may be the only one struggling with urinary problems, and it's super common. So it doesn't have to be to the point that you're fully wet to come see me. If you feel like things have changed, you are either struggling to open the door to get inside or you're doing your basic activities, whether that be physically active or just your normal everyday things, and you feel like your urinary symptoms are controlling your life, and limiting your ability to do the things or spend time with people, it's important to get it addressed. There's no reason to suffer. And at any age? At any age. Okay. Especially women who are postpartum. Yeah. So it, it again, women struggle so much after delivery with the pain and the breastfeeding and the weight changes and the fluid fluctuations, but incontinence is common. Okay. After a C-section, you're talking up 20% of women. Excuse me, after vaginal delivery, let's correct that. So, so in fact, after vaginal delivery, it's about 20%. After C-sections, it's up to 10 to 15%. It's not uncommon. Mm-hmm.